If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable FIFA 17 coins, make sure to check out MMOGAH. The link to their website is down in the description and use the code S2G to get yourself a 3% off on your purchase. Borussia Mönchengladbach have come in with a £71,000 per week offer for Santiago Lopez. Is it time guys for us to leave Arsenal? Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the second episode of Season 2 of the My Player Career Mode series. Today's episode is massive as we will be deciding whether to stay at Arsenal or to leave Arsenal and join Borussia Mönchengladbach. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on this video. The support on this series, as always, has been incredible. You guys smashed over 170 likes in the previous episode. If we can get anywhere near 150 for this one, that would be incredible. And make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content. Also, thanks to all your support, we are just 100 subscribers away from hitting 15k subs. Once I do hit 15k subs, I will be giving away a few Xbox PSN codes to you guys. And if you guys want to be a part of that giveaway, make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link to that will be, of course, in the description below. But anyways, the massive talking point of the previous episode. Should we leave Arsenal or should we, of course, stay at Arsenal? And you guys mostly were in favour of me joining Borussia Mönchengladbach. Hence, that's what we are going to be doing firstly in this episode. We are going to be accepting this £71,000 per week contract offer. And of course, now we are going to be a Mönchengladbach player, which I think is fantastic. Joining a team like Borussia Mönchengladbach will definitely mean we'll be getting a lot more game time because at Arsenal, there were like 11 strikers. At Gladbach, maybe 5 or 6 and Gladbach also play a 2 striker formation. So we will be getting a lot of game time here. I think this will be fantastic for our career. Now these are our primary objectives as well as our secondary objectives. 6.0 match rating or more, 5 goals, 5 assists and a shot conversion rate of above 10%. We should be able to get that done without much of a problem. Let's have a look at the plays we've got alongside us. We've got Jan Sommer who's 84 rated, Patrick Herman who's 82 rated. We've got some top quality players in here. We are 18th in the squad ranking table which is not that bad. I mean we've just joined Borussia so that's actually pretty good I'd say. In the strikers list we are of course 5th. Of course, Hazard, Rafael, Andre Hahn and Joseph Dermic are ahead of us. But keep in mind that Gladbach will be using a two-striker formation, which should allow us to get a lot of game time. We had a great chat with the boss and he's of course welcoming us to the club. He also gave me a quick reminder that Gladbach have spent quite a bit of money on me and that they are expecting a decent return. So hopefully we can repay the fate shown by Borussia Mönchengladbach. But anyways guys, first game of the season is of course going to be a Europa League qualifying round fixture against Aras. We could potentially be making our debut in a European competition. Yes, it's the Europa League and not the Champions League, but still man, playing in the Europa League, I think is still a massive achievement. Besides that, we've got Peru and Brazil in the World Cup qualifiers. Now, I'm not sure if we are going to get called up. We haven't been called up yet to the Argentine national team, but now we are 76 rated and we had a very good season with Chesterfield and also now, of course, this new big money signing to Borussia Mönchengladbach. So you never know it'll be absolutely ridiculous if we do get the call up as the number 10 shirt is not vacant it's been taken by Torgan Hazard number 18 is the shirt I'll be wearing besides that I made a slight change to my appearance I'll be wearing the Suarez tape you know the tape Suarez wear something similar to that and also wristband because why the hell not change is always welcome now we are going to be playing our first game for Borussia Mönchengladbach can we get a goal on our debut for them? That'll be pretty awesome. First European game as well. So if we score, it'll be absolutely ridiculous. We are going to be playing in that left striker role alongside Raul Jimenez, who is a striker I've not heard much of, but I know he's good. He's 80 rated, so technically he's better than us. He puts in a great pass into me. Now I make a run. In fact, the tackle from the defender is good, but I still have the ball. I tried to put a cross in. The defender gets the block, but now I've got another chance. I played back inside into Stroll, who finds, of course, Kremer, the German mid fielder gets the shots off but it goes just wide early signs in this game look pretty good but now they've got a set piece ball is played inside the box it falls to Herdman Herdman does well to hold up the ball but eventually does really poorly to give the ball away to them and they have a chance to score luckily for us our defender does well now it's Santiago Lopez again does well to get away from his marker Santiago Lopez now plays it out wide now it's Raul Jimenez Jimenez plays it inside it to Fabian Johnson who plays it into me and I get the shots off 
Not the best of attempts there from me. Probably should have done better. We've got a 40-yard free kick now, and I'm surprised that I'm allowed to take free kicks, even though it's just my first game. But I'm not complaining. I probably shouldn't have gone for the shot from, like, 40 yards out. But nevertheless... It was still an average attempt and now we've got another chance and as you can see the boss has instructed us to go all out attack. He really wants us to win this game and have a decent advantage going to the away leg against Artis. Yes, Lopez who takes the shot but one of the Artis defenders does really well to keep him from scoring. And now look at this for a counter from our own box. Santiago Lopez using that pace. He's just tapping the ball forward and using his raw pace to beat the Artis defenders. He does so well here. Santiago Lopez has now reached the opposition box. Box, cuts it back into Rafael who flicks it on into Mahmoud Dahoud who hits the side netting. He should be doing better from that position and that is how the game ends. Kind of disappointed we couldn't get the goal in this one but as we didn't concede the away goal I think we are still in a good position to progress into the next round. I mean if the away leg ends in a one all result or a 2 all result basically a goal scoring draw we'll still go through so we have got a bit of an advantage. I'm hoping we will make use of it. We got a match rating of 7 for our debut which is not that bad to be fair 33 touches we had a decent game we could have improved we could have scored as well but a seven in our first game for Borussia Mönchengladbach for the first time playing alongside these teammates is not that bad we were sixth in the strikers ranking but now we have jumped up to third place which I think is pretty decent hopefully we'll just keep improving and potentially be in first place as well that would be really nice it is now time for the return leg against Arhus. Our chance to get into the group stages of the Europa League hangs on balance. We've got a chance, man, to get into the group stages. Let's take that one. Hopefully, we can score now against Arhus and get my first goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach. And what a moment it will be, man, in such a big game for us to try and get into the group stages. I think it'll be amazing. A very similar lineup to the lineup the boss fielded in the first leg. Hopefully, this team will come through and we can beat Arhus with without a problem. Now it's Santiago Lopez early on in this game. Great link up play with him and Raul Jimenez. Santiago Lopez now gets the shot off but he drags it wide. And it, that was of course his weak foot but to be fair he should be doing much better than that. Here's Santiago Lopez again. Goes wide. Does really well to get away from a couple of defenders. Tries to cut inside but gets fouled inside the box and we get a penalty. And not only a penalty the player who committed the challenge was sent off for that. Now, personally, I don't think that was a red card, but who cares, man? We've got a massive advantage now. A penalty for us. It's going to be taken by Raul Jimenez, and he misses. Maybe it should still be me who's taking penalties. I took most of my penalties for Chesterfield, and I scored all of them. I think I should be the penalty taker. But anyway, that's for another day. Santiago Lopez now finds Christoph Kramer. Kramer in a good position, gets the shot off, but it goes just wide. He should be scoring from there. He really should be scoring from there. And now it's Kramer again. Out wide into Johnson. Johnson finds me. I do really well to get inside using the Berber spin. Santiago Lopez running wide. Cuts it back into Fabian Johnson. How has he missed from there? He should be smashing the ball first time into the back of the net from that position. Now just before half time, can we get the crucial goal to probably send us through into the group stages? No, we can't. As Santiago Lopez's shot goes inches wide. And now Mahmoud Dahoud into Crema. Now to Raul Jimenez. Jimenez finds me. This is a massive chance for Lopez to score. And how have I missed that? That was a golden opportunity. I shouldn't be missing those kind of chances. That should have been a definite goal. Very poor finishing there from Lopez. On the top left, you guys can see Lewandowski has completed his move to Juve. Very interesting, but well, we should not be talking much about that as they've got a chance to score. Luckily for us, um, it hit the side netting, but now we've got a chance on the counter. It's Janske who plays the ball through into me. I somehow beat the offside trap. Now I am one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. I go for the finesse shot. It hits down the side of the crossbar. And it's in the back of the net, a fantastic finish from Santiago Lopez to get his first in a European competition and also his first goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach, which could be the deciding goal to send them through into the group stages of the Europa League. So already we are making a massive impact at Gladbach and as you can see the game has come to an end. 
we will be taking part in the upcoming season's Europa League, so things can't really get any better for us. Match rating of 8.3, a few of our stats do get boosted, which as always is fantastic. Look at this man, 33 touches in this game, passing percentage of 93. We actually were playing as a left midfielder or a left winger towards the end of the game. The coach changed the formation, so that was pretty interesting. I actually scored after that, so yeah, pretty cool that was. But as you can see, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for us, Togan Hazard is set for a Schalke move. He will be joining Schalke for a £26 million fee. Normally, you would consider this as bad news, but to be fair for us, this could be massive news as this could really help us become the number one striker here at, of course, Borussia Mönchengladbach. And Gladbach and the best thing is the number 10 shirt is vacant and who's gonna get it none other than Santiago Lopez so he will be wearing the number 10 shirt for even Borussia Mönchengladbach after that game guys the Argentine FA announced the squad for the World Cup qualifiers I just felt I had a slight chance of getting into the squad but it wasn't to be maybe next time we've got to just keep our heads down and working hard constantly and one day I'm sure we will be in the World Cup, not the World Cup, in the Argentine squad to play potentially in the World Cup. But this is the group stages of the Europa League. This is the group we've been drawn in. Real Betis, Basak Sahir and Austria. We and it's a decent group. Real Betis, of course, a tough Spanish side. Interesting one, but I reckon we should be favourites to top our group because, well, Gladbach is a very good team and compared to those teams, definitely better than the rest. But anyways, now I'm going to be ending this episode after just these two games because next episode we are going to be getting started off with the Bundesliga. And also we might be having this game against Dortmund which will be fantastic. Let me have a look if it's away from home or at home. I think it is away from home which is ridiculous man. Just imagine playing at the Signal Iduna Park. If we get picked for that game, I'm honestly going to be really excited. Hopefully, we'll be able to deliver a decent performance against them. Anyways, let's have a look at the overall right now of Santiago. Lopez of course a match rating of 7.6 over the two games he's played in this episode and he's got a few stats of his increase which is always nice to see but his overall is still 76 hopefully he'll be able to make a lot more improvements in the upcoming episode my goal is to at least have Santiago 82 rated by the end of the season also squad ranking Santiago Lopez is now sixth in the team ranking which is fantastic and first in the squad ranking rivals ranking which is ridiculous, Santiago already making his mark at Gladbach, very successful episode indeed, if you guys have enjoyed it, drop a like on this one, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content, 150 likes as I said is the goal for today, and I will see you guys very soon with another episode of this series.